and welcome to the kickoff for our 2018 winter um, concerts. It wouldn't be a winter concert without a little bit of bad weather. So thank you for everyone braving the uh, yucky snow that we're having right now. I know that the Route 19 was pretty backed up, so uh, everyone got here safely. That's the most important thing. My name is Katherine Jenkins, and I do have the true privilege of being the principal here at Carson Middle School and working with all of your sons, daughters, granddaughters, grandsons, nieces, nephews, and the fantastic teaching staff here. Um, not a day goes by where I don't laugh at something that's going on, and um, your kids bring a lot of enjoyment to all of us here at Carson Middle School. Tonight's concert, um, I want to go over a few housekeeping things just before we get started. If you would have to use the restroom, you would exit and then turn right. We have both the men's and the ladies' room located to the right. We have signs above them. We also have a water fountain located out and to the right. We also have a water fountain located out to the left and just around the corner. So if um, you feel that you need to take a little break, we also ask that you don't exit during the performance. Please wait in between songs to either exit and also when you're re-entering to find your seat, Please wait until they're done with that performance to find your seat so as not to distract the students um, as they're on stage. Because they've been working very hard, they're excited, maybe a little bit nervous, but I think mostly excited to show you what they've learned. And it's beyond just learning the, the lyrics to a song. You'll see tonight that they learn how to perform. They learn the right posture, posture one versus posture two. If you don't know what that means, talk to your son or daughter about that. They will explain it to you. They'll tell you what embouchure means. Try spelling that when you're doing an observation. Like, oh, okay. But they know the um, what I'll call vocal fluency, music fluency, the vocabulary, the terminology. And what that tells me is the teaching staff's not teaching them just about, oh, we're here to sing a song for our parents. We're here to learn about music, to appreciate it, and to learn how to perform it. And so it's with great excitement that we put this all together for you tonight. But I can't say that I put it together. It is due to our wonderful staff. Ms. Geary in the back, helping out with lights and music and our entire stage crew. Um, we also have Mrs. Mastin, our orchestra, direct orchestra director here helping out. And then we have Mrs. Helsel and uh, Mr. Woden, obviously the choral directors. We are privileged to have all of you here tonight because many times, um, and I'll even say in other school districts when I interview candidates and they come here for a concert, they're like, I can't believe the turnouts that you get. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Well, when I worked in XXX Place, like, no one would show up, hardly anyone. So we thank you for supporting your children in their education and supporting them in the performing arts. Because we know it's not just about learning your ABCs and one, two, threes. We, have to, we do have to know that, but it's also being well-rounded and learning how to maybe not actually love music, but learn how to appreciate it. And that's what being in middle school is about. We just want to give them as many exposures and experiences that we can. So sit back, relax, enjoy this wonderful evening, and please help me give a big round of applause to welcome our sixth grade chorus under the direction of Mr. David Long.
by Emily Bronte, published in 1847. Composer Audrey Snyder has set this text to a beautiful flowing melody that further highlights the storyline of the transition of fall to winter. Harmony is created in a partner song style of composition. We will be accompanied by a seventh grader, Christina Roost. <laughs>
Thank you. 